Well, they are back after living underground for 17 years. The brood X cicadas are emerging. Everyone is bugging out about them. Here to show us how to eat them, founder of Brooklyn Bugs, Chef Joseph Yoon. Good to see you. Hey, thank you guys now, so much. Why, why do we want to eat cicadas? Well, cicadas and insects are nutrient dense and they're sustainable, but most importantly, they can be absolutely delicious. If you put sauce on them, right? If you put sauce on it, I mean, there's so many different ways to cook it. And there, it, yeah, I, I think that I, I'm hoping that what we do will tempt you. Well, tempt Kelly. But why do they <laughs> appear every 17 years? What's that about? Well, so the, these guys are mathematical geniuses. Of course, yeah. And they actually wait, and it's um, a matter of like, there's different ideas for why they do this, mm -hmm. but they want to wait for predators so that they're, it's not a predictable number. So they use a prime number, and they wait long periods of time before they come out for a better chance of survival. It's so an evolutionary strategy. Yesterday, yeah. Kelly told us a lot about the bottom half of the cicadas. Um, if they have a fungi, fungi, is that an issue of a fungus? That is definitely a, a, an issue and one that, uh, I mean, but if you want to have fun and, uh, you know, if you don't mind being a sex crazy zombie, then I guess it's okay. But uh, I, I heard Kelly say that yesterday. Here you go. I'm already. I already this is your mine. segment. All right. Go ahead, what, it, are we, what are we making for Kelly first? First, we're gonna make a cicada nymph stir fry Great. with a ton of fresh veggies. Okay. And so let's go ahead and like put some oil like yeah. down on our mm -hmm. heated pan. Good. And then we're just gonna get swirl it around. Careful, the pan might be it a little hot. It is very hot, but I'm yeah, trying not to show. There's a towel uh, over there if you need it. Okay. And we're just gonna start adding a ton just, of the stuff. Okay, you ready first. to go? Let's go with the onions. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and put the carrots in there yep. as well. Okay. Okay, let's put the uh, fiddleheads, a yep. really great springtime ingredient. <laughs> let's go ahead and add all the... To, to hide the cicadas, we're putting all this yeah, in. Yeah, that's right, asparagus <laughs> goes next. Let's okay. go ahead and add the red peppers. Yeah, red peppers, great. Okay, and this is just, I mean, this is just looking really It looks good, but fantastic. let's get to the real stuff. All right, let's, get, let's go ahead okay. and add the broccoli. Broccoli, mm -hmm. And let's get some salt. Of course. And let's go ahead and add some salt Good. over here, add some pepper. All right. And let's go ahead and like stir it around a little bit. No mushrooms? Not yet. We're gonna add oh, the mushrooms in right. one second after we get, get these uh get these cooking. How, how, how's it how's it looking? The mine's there? actually uh, perfect. I could serve it now. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead, let's add the, the garlic. Okay, love garlic. Kelly yeah. loves garlic. Okay. Okay, and the mushrooms. Mushrooms, good. And so right now, I mean, we, we are, are we just, putting cicadas in this thing? Yes. Well, we're gonna let this cook for one, like for another minute. Okay. Before we add the cicadas, and the cicadas are marinated in a delicious soy sauce, mirin, rice wine vinegar, and a little liquid courage, a little sake for you as well. Right. How do you make them safe though to eat? Well, so I, I blanch them in water and, and, and uh, for like 45 seconds. And so it, it's just like, and I also very carefully hand select each one that we're eating as well. And uh, yeah. Good. So put them in. Let's go ahead and add the Ooh, cicadas yeah. with look the at, sauce. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes. Wait, what, what is that? We're out of time? Okay, coming up next, Kelly will finish and taste right after this. We're back with Chef Joseph Yoon. I'm here with my hand resting on this lukewarm <laughs> handle. <laughs> Just for clar clarification there. Wait, did, did Ryan do a good job over there? He did it. I think he did an absolutely beautiful oh, job, good. as a All matter right. of fact. Yes. Right. Everything yes. is well incorporated, is, even though he's seeking a burn treatment for his hand. <laughs> which has never touched anything warm, I believe. Uh-huh. Now, what other dishes could we enjoy with cicadas? Could we put cicadas in ice cream? You sure can, yeah. I mean, actually, so the po caramel popcorn I have, they're covered in caramel, and these caramel chocolate-covered cicadas would be perfect in ice cream. Really? May I? Absolutely. I just oh, wanna, yeah, I just please. Wanna, may I? Is it you okay? You want to start with the Oh, Gilman. yeah. What, you look concerned. There's a lot of concern. No, no, I'm no. hoping that Gelman yeah, will try some in. too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, come on in, Rod. Okay, I'm going to try the, the caramel popcorn too then. It's delicious. So, okay. I mean, mm. how is it? It's delicious. Okay. Yeah. You can start with the. So, huh? What's that? 
Start yeah, I, I would I go savory then sweet kale, but that's all right. <laughs> I had a full chocolate covered cicada and it was delicious. And this is the burger. This is a cicada nymph burger as black beans. Cicada what? Cicada nymph. nymph. They're, they're, nymph. The, they're the younger version of, of the cicada. Oh, it's I you. thought it was the genitals that fell yeah, off. Oh, yeah, no. Get it? <laughs> um, you know, but maybe next time, if you guys are interested, I'm yes. going to try to get cicada caviar going, but that's well, later. We'll, we'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> did, did they taste like shrimp? You know, they are arthropods, just like shrimp, and so they, they can be a little similar. How is it coming? Um, oh, my gosh. gosh. I, yeah. You got, so I was, was you guys are eating it. I thought that from the beginning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me I get mean, in it's here. Really good. I mean, I'm a big, I don't really table. eat mm -hmm. meat at all. Yep. So this feels like it's a good source of maybe protein, although I think it's a shell. I don't know. I, what do I know? Kelly. Do I look like a doctor? <laughs> Try those. They're still we're not allowed to try those. We're not allowed to? Mm-mm. Go for the spray only. Oh, okay, good. They may have been sprayed with something. No, well, well you know, actually, so these, good. these have been prepared for eating. And th this I didn't actually prepare and like blanch and like get ready. No, so that, we won't touch just, those. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Th We're happy with that. Those are just for display. But you know, there's some other applications like you could literally do anything yeah, with what cicadas. Is this here? Nice to problem. highlight the springtime, I love incorporating ramps. Mm. And so that's like a mm -hmm. ramp pickle with cicadas. Mm. And this one is a ramp kimchi that I made with oh, cicadas. Oh, Gelman, that's got well. your name written on. Love Gelman loves a kimchi. He told mm -hmm. me he loves it. He yeah. gargles with kimchi. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, well. you are delightful. Um, for more information on Brooklyn Bugs, go mm -hmm. to our website. So good. Delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming.